Welcome back to Up North at 4. The Hodag is known to wake from his slumber during this time. And you might have a sighting if you head to Pioneer Park Historical Complex this Saturday. And you're in luck because Saturday is opening day for the complex. Joining us now is Director Cl Carrie Bladorn. Carrie, welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me. So tell us what's happening on Saturday for the opening. Saturday, May 30th is our opening day of the 88th season here at Pioneer Park Historical Complex. I uh, tried to sit outside by one of uh, the loggers, um, but I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So I decided to hop inside the rural schoolhouse we see them and it's much more pleasant than here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we, uh, we missed you. We we keep asking, you know, where's Carrie? Where's Carrie? And like, so how have you been during this time? Yeah, I've been kind of laying low uh, since uh, my last big event with the uh, I saw the Hodag video. <laughs> it was the Joe Exotic food. And uh, just haven't really thought of anything to, you know, rise above that bar. So uh, there's been a lot of preparation, a lot of work going on here at the museum complex, just getting everything in ship shape for the season. And, uh, of course, there's been a lot of uh, concern for this summer and uh, just wanting to put a lot of... Uh, precautions in place to keep everybody uh, healthy and comfortable for the summer sure. and still be able to come and enjoy a visit to the museum. Sure. Yeah, and people are starting to come out, Carrie, as you know. Parents are getting their kids ready to go for summer. What should parents keep in mind bringing their kids to the historical complex? Well, some things that we talked about here at the complex were there's a large uh, enough space within the complex fencing that people should be able to, you know, keep a uh, maintain social distancing, and we have set up quite a few more hand sanitizer stations and changed some rules within the museum buildings. Um, I tend to be a hands-on history guy, so the more that you can get your hands on things, the more you learn. Unfortunately, with the safety precautions that, that we will be uh, enforcing over the summer, mm -hmm. there'll be less hands-on materials here at the museum. So you can still come and visit, you can still go into all the buildings, uh, but whereas you would maybe go into the schoolhouse museum like the museum I'm in now and, uh, you know, sit down at the desks and play with some of the, the artifacts and items, um, we're going to have that stuff off limits until further notice just to make sure everybody stays healthy and safe and comfortable for the summer. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you're very involved with the community, and I know you're in a, a group right now um, that you really want to tell people about, and it has to do with, the, with PFAS. Do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, so unrelated to the museum uh, complex here at Pioneer Park Historical Complex, um, I'm involved in a group called WATER, W-E-T-R, which is uh, Water Action Team Rhinelander. And it's a small group of concerned Rhinelander community members that wanted to get together and um, talk about and research the water quality within our community. So. Faz has been in the news a lot the last you know six months or a year and so that raised some concerns with us and we just wanted to sit down and see well what's going on um, and what can we do about it in the future obviously uh, quality water uh, is good for our community and mm -hmm. uh, we want everybody to be safe so we get together once a week and we talk about Rhinelanders water quality and we research uh, especially the PFAS issue and uh, next Tuesday on June 2nd, we'll be having a virtual forum, and the focus of that forum will be uh, government response to PFAS in Wisconsin. Right now, down in Madison, they are going through the process of um, hopefully getting some legislation together to set some standards for PFAS in the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, PFAS is a, what they call a forever chemical, and we're not quite sure. Uh, what it's all about yet and, sure. and what effects it could have, good or bad, uh, primarily the negative effects of it. Uh, and so we're hoping to figure that out and, right. and uh, again make Rhinelanders water quality as good as it can be. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll put all the information for that forum and also uh, the hours for opening weekend um, at, at the at Pioneer Park Historical Complex. So again, thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.